Welcome to our lesson about inserting bins. I've got a shell feature in my graphic area. I'm going to convert this solid to a sheet metal part. Let's begin by activating the Insert Bends tool. First action to take is to select a fixed face or edge. Now we specify the bend radius. If Ignore Beveled Faces is checked, you're going to exclude chamfers from being converted to sheet metal bends. Next, we specify the bend allowance. And below, we specify auto relief. Let's use rectangular with a ratio of 1. The next section is rip parameters. We need to rip the corners in order to create a flat pattern. We can select one direction and a second rip direction or both directions. I'm going to select the second corner, the third, and the last. Once again, for each corner, we can specify a rip in the first direction, the second direction, or in both directions. Lastly here, we can specify a gap. And let's click OK. I get a confirmation from SolidWorks. Auto relief cuts were made for one or more bends. Let's click OK. Now let's flatten our part. And as you see, SolidWorks added a number of features to our tree. There's a sheet metal feature, a flatten bends feature, and a process bends feature. And this concludes our lesson about inserting bends.